Rules for the nth term in a sequence, modeling linear growth or decay. This is all about finding what this specific payment is after uh, if I've got a loan for several, several months, if I want to find, I don't know, what the payment is on month 27, what's it going to be? So this is all uh, relating to that. Of course, the kinds of loans that we are talking about are all simple interest ones because they are the ones that um, a show a linear growth or a linear decay. What does that mean? That means that they are increasing by the same amount each time or decreasing by the same amount each time. So if I wanted to find out the simple interest for a loan after 350 months, it would be very tiring to find out the entire sequence. So to find the nth term, and that just means a specific number in the term, we use a relationship. So if the uh, loan is growing, we will say VN, so a particular uh, nth term, one particular term, is equal to the initial plus... Uh, however many months it is, that's what we symbolize with N, times by the payments, or that could be the um, the regular simple interest payment, that could be the, um, or the uh, dollar amount that we need, anything along, uh, anything to do with those lines. With uh, decay, you could probably imagine if decay means decrease, then we are just going to go and decrease that. by same thing, there's the same number of months, and that it's, we multiply it by a D value. The total amount with simple interest after N time periods. So when we're wanting to find the total amount after we've invested some money using a simple interest fee, we go and use this formula here. So that's VN equals to V naught plus N times D. V naught is the principal or the original amount that I invested in. N is the number of time periods. So if I've got months and years mentioned in my problem, I don't want to have different sort of units of time. So I would either convert it all to months or all to years. In my experience, months is easier, but always depend on what the answer wants. A D is the simple interest fee. So what that is, is that that is the interest rate. That is the little R divided by 100 times by the principal. The total amount with flat rate depreciation after end time periods. As soon as you see the word depreciation, that means I'm taking it away. So you'll see that the uh, formula, which I'm highlighting here, has got a VN equals V naught take away N times D. So the V naught is still the same thing. It's still the principal. Uh, the N is still the time periods and you still need to double check to make sure they're all consistent. D, however, is the flat rate depreciation, which is still calculated in the same way that we did with simple interest. So it's still the interest rate, that's the little r, divided by 100 times by the principal. The total amount a unit is worth after an n number of uses, so unit cost depreciation. So this is when we have a printer or something that we find that depreciates uh, by 15 cents for every 10,000 copies or something along those lines. So we still use the formula as established earlier, um, which I'm going to highlight here. The initial value is the V naught. The number of uses is the N, so rather than time periods, it's number of uses. And D is the cost, so it's not a, uh, we don't use a simple interest formula. This is legitimately a cost of some kind. The one thing I would say is a common trap with this sort of question is that they'll mention cents in one part of the question and then they'll have the answer in dollars or the initial value will be in dollars and then the cost or depreciation will be in cents. Always, always, always make sure your units are the same. So convert the cents into dollars or convert the dollars into cents. I would suggest it would make more sense to convert the cents back into dollars. Example 8D.1. The following recurrence relation can be used to model a simple interest investment. So we've got V0 is equal to 5,000. VN plus 1 is equal to VN plus 250. And remember that VN plus 1 just means the next one along. A VN is a particular value plus 250. What is the principle of the investment? How much interest is added each year? Well, the first thing to be aware of is that the principle will be that initial investment. So I'm going to write principal 
is equal to V naught, and that is equal to $5,000. How much interest is added each year? So that is the D value, so this one here. And the D value has already been highlighted here as plus 250. Now you'll notice that the question says how much interest. It doesn't say what the interest rate is, it says how much interest. So in that case, I can tell you that the amount of interest is, li is literally just that plus 250. So that is $250. Now, if it had asked for something a little bit different, so if the question had said, find the interest rate, or find the uh, interest rate, then we'd have to do something a little bit more complex. So what we would do is we know that D is equal to little r over 100 times by the V naught. Now we can actually use our calculator to assist us in this matter by using the solve function. In your CAS calculator, the, the solve function is under Math 3. You want to click on solve, and what we're going to do is we're going to write the equation as we see. So uh, what we've got here is we know that the amount of interest that we ha have here each year is $250. We have got some interest rate divided by 100 times by the principal, which is 5,000. Now, when I type this into the calculator, I'm going to write 250 equals. Now, instead of the R, I'm just going to use the X here, divided by 100 times by 5,000 comma X. And this tells me here that the interest rate is five. So what does that mean? That means the interest rate is 5% per annum. Now, again, this question didn't ask for the rate. However, if you get a similar question that does ask for the interest rate, that is how you do it. B. Write down the rule VN for the value of the investment after N years. So this is where we need to convert that original rela re, uh, recurrence relation into uh, a rule. And the rule will look something like this. I know that V0 is equal to 5,000. VN is equal to 5,000 plus 250 and I just write the little N, because the 250 is that D value, and the N was the number of months, and then our V naught there was 5,000. Use a rule to find the value of the investment after 15 years. So in this case, we know that the N is 15 years, because this is the time periods that we're using. It's all about years. So VN is equal to 5,000 plus 250, times by 15, and that gets us equal to $8,750. Use a rule to find when the value of the investment first exceeds $10,000. So the fact that it says using the rule means that we have to actually manipulate or change the rule in some way to be able to get to our answer. My suggestion here would be to uh, use the solve function on the CAS calculator. So the rule we've established is 5,000 plus 250 N. Now what we're going to do is we're going to solve for when the uh, value of the, or the years or the total value of the investment is um, is more than $10,000. So you see the word exceeds? That means more than. So it has to be more than 10,000. So what we're gonna do is find out when it's exactly equal to 10,000. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write let VN equal 10,000. 
And that means I, I know what I've done. I've made that equal to 10,000. And what I'm gonna do is just write solve for N. And what that means is that if I'm communicating this to another person, they know what I've done. Uh, so I'm solving for N. And uh, for those who do maths methods or specialists, you're welcome to do this by hand. But honestly, if you've got a calculator, use it. So what I have done is I've just written that into the calculator as solve 10,000 is equal to 5,000 plus 250x and solving for x. So if I press enter, there it is. It's saying there that x is 20. So therefore, that's when it's exactly 10,000. But notice there, the question there is where it says where it first exceeds. In other words, it's first greater than uh, 10,000. So that means when n equals 20, the total is 10,000. So therefore, and that's what those three dots means, therefore, when n equals 21, this ex exceeds $10,000. Alternatively, you could also use the calculator to show this as a sequence. So if we go to the calculator, we can use the sequences option to get the same answer. For this, uh, to use the sequences option, I would just use the initial recurrence relation. So instead of VN, I'm just gonna put AN, and I'm gonna write plus 250, and then uh, the V0 is 5,000. And then what I do is I just scroll down here until I can see that where which year first exceeds or first greater than 10,000. And we can see there it's at the 21, 21st, I was about to say 21th month, no, 21st month. 